HGTV, I'm fabulous. And I'm the people's champ. I mean, just showing you some of the things right here back up, man. I mean, school bus. These are some of the things y'all school bus drivers need to be aware of. You know what I'm saying? Don't be going out Sunday night. In the moon. And you got to pick up the kids Monday I morning. You. I <laughs> seen you. I seen you. <laughs> Ricky V. Shaw. Ricky V. Shaw, yeah. We're going to find you, and we're going to report you to the school bus. Yeah, yeah. I'm going home, girl. What you talking about? What? Man, I stayed up late so late last night. Uh, uh, uh. I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to come in the house, baby. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to get up out of here now and get off this bus. God, I'm so tired. Oh, oh, let me call you back. I forgot to check this bus. Let me call you back. Man. Woo, let me check this bus. Make sure they ain't got no kids on here. Man. Let me check this bus. to my house, man. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Get up, man. man. You fell asleep, son. Man, come on, man. man. What school you go to, man? I go to oh, no, come on, man. man. You done fell asleep on the bus. Lucky I checked the bus. It's 99 degrees out here, man. And you back there sleeping? Oh, man. Let me, let me get my bags and my stuff, man. Oh, man. Oh, HGTV. I was your school bus driver. That's the proper way on how you would have checked a bus. Because if I would have stayed on the phone and closed the door, I would have never seen that they had a child on the bus. So HGTV, I'm just trying to show you. If I would have, if I would have not took the initiative and stayed on the phone and went in the house, this child could have been dead today. But I got off my phone and I remembered I needed to check the bus. I'm fabulous. I'm B Jizzle. And that's the proper way to check a bus. I'm fabulous. HGTV, right here live at Campbell High School. What's your name? My name's DeAndre Green. DeAndre Green. What's the name of this instrument that you playing? It's being a marimba. No. Say it again? The marimba. The marimba. If you're drunk, you can't say that. The marimba. Play a little piece so that people have an idea of the type of sound this is. Let's talk about uh, your football career and how this all came about. Well, wow. <laughs> from from what point? From when, <laughs> when, when you were a little tiny kid uh, and you used to play. Well, I don't think you were ever a tiny kid. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, some would say but, I gained a few too. But uh, the stories you used to tell me about when you were a kid and uh, playing football and they would always ask you for your birth certificate. Yeah, I mean, that was a, a thing. Uh, I was uh, I didn't get to play early on. Uh, first time I've ever played organized was I kind of snuck on the field. Uh, they asked me for my birth certificate. I gave it. And my mom and dad didn't even know I was playing football at that time. But before that, I, I would say would be playing with my older brother and sisters, playing with older family members, and getting just pounded on. You know, for years. Reality will tell you. Socializing in the truth and being me and being real. That's how I love that. <laughs>
looking like a woman with bad high heel shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> So fabulous, what happened? I see you got another pair of shoes. I'll tell you what happened. I'm a big man with big ankles. This is the shoes. This what? ain't this ain't made for me, man. I'm like a big woman wearing stilettos out there on, on ice, man. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> People champ, fabulous. Then we're gonna do is skating lessons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at the moves, bro. <laughs> It almost snipped at me, but I was able to get his wings. It's very dangerous and slippy out here in the wild. Only professionals can do this right here. Be very quiet. You notice right here, a piece of bird trying to bite at me. I bit his back off. Come with me to the wild. Something good to eat. Trick, trick or treat? What? Where you going with that? Who you yeah. supposed to eat? Trick or treat? What you, what you want with that, man? Oh, oh man. You want to see? Yeah, how we something. do today? What's up, Bacate and Anna? Oh, yeah, happy Halloween to y'all. You know how we do it. <laughs> what's up, what's up? He coming to you like he better take a lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring your mama get you that day, bro. <laughs> man, oh man, I just came for some candy, man. That's all what I came for. Shut up, baby, poor man. <laughs> That's all what I came for, and that was it. As oh, you can yeah. see, we're out here in Rosie 
Louisiana wind is blowing 80 miles per hour. If you're in the home right now, I'm reporting live from HDTV, your number one neighborhood weatherman. As you can see, it's pouring down out here. I'm in the St. Bernard in New Orleans, Louisiana. Hold on, I can't perceive the word I need to get out of here. There's somebody coming up. <laughs> Michael Jackson again. Lindsey Paul. Come on, Lindsey. As we do Billie Jean. paid you and she looking for her job to be done right you gap up her yard man I mean, did you see how mr. Boudreaux cut that yard man 
Man, what's oh, wrong with him, man? man. He don't know how to cut no yards. Mr. Boudreaux, HGTV is looking for you, man. Let me tell you something. When we find you, boom, boom, wee dee, woo wee. Uh, we got you. Oh, oh, oh. we're going to get you. We're going to get you, man. We just, we're not just a TV show, man. we some bounty hunters, man. For free. We're going to come get you for free, man. So don't cut no more grass if you can't gap, if you can't not gap them people yard, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Come on, man. For real. You gapped that woman yard up, man. And she paid you, man. How much, how much, how much she paid, Mr. Boudreaux? Man, I believe she paid him. Twenty-five. Twenty-five dollars. Yeah, twenty-five dollars. So I'm letting you know now, man. We looking for you, man. You owe twenty-five dollars to that woman, Mr. Boudreaux. We are gonna find you, man. So if you see Mr. Boudreaux out there somewhere, don't let him cut your grass. HGTV, call us, and we'll come get him, man. We'll get him off the list, man. Oh man, we looking for Mr. Sausage Link. Mr. Sausage Link. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where yet, but you need to come back, man. They sold a bun without the sausage link. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, they they looking for sausage link, man. Sausage link, you also wanted on the HGTV list, man. So I'm, I'm gonna scratch that off, cause when we gonna find him, we're gonna let you know, man. And just to let you know, man, HGTV most wanted. This is the Ricky Richard show, and we are coming at you live in correction, live in correction. HD TV. HD? Well, HD? What you said, Bob? I say HG. HG. HG TV. HG TV, man. The Ricky Richard Most Wanted Show right here, Shaq. And we're going to find you. Boudreaux, stop cutting grass. Hot link, go to your bun. We're going to find you, man. You're live with Fabulous Shirt. Next on the list, Weather man. Ghetto Star right here, man. Good day for a sun outside. Neighborhood weatherman. The neighborhood weatherman. Come on, Go man. Ahead, do Look it. Look at that. Somebody hold the cards up. Do it. <laughs> if it's hot outside, best to wear your shorts and blouses. Because the sun will be beaming and the girls will be streaming. It's hot outside. Get your rides clean and get your girl fixed up. It might rain today, so I don't know. You know it's on today. Start barbecuing. It's hot outside. Clean your ride up. Go to the park. Even take the little fishing ones. Bring them fishing with you. We're back here live with Fabulous, your neighborhood weatherman. It's hot out here, Chef. So grab an umbrella to block the sun. If it's 40% rain, it's probably 40% hotter than it was earlier today. I want to say from Fabulous Live, it's so hot, I'm imagining things right now. As I sit here today in one of the sunstroke heat, as I sweat under my skin, but understand, don't forget people be deodorized under the oil. You'll be clean, fresh, and use degree 100% heat. It's partly sunny in your neighborhood, because it's partly cloudy in mine. Them two fellas up north, the one running for president, they still calling each other names. John McCain and Jesse Jackson done teamed up and messed up Barack Obama's name. I got trouble saying that boy's name sometimes myself. Barack Obama, Barack, Barack. I don't know why they just didn't name him Ricky. Anyways, Barack of them got fed up and he scheduled a 12 round fight to the knockout match on the White House lawn. The fight gonna be judged by Al Sharpton and Bush, George W., the baby Bush, the one that liked to ride horses, he gonna be the referee. Welcome to Tight Foot. I'm tight and tight. We'll be by what you about to see here today is a one-on-one -on -one between me and the champion. Now we gonna show y'all how it's done down here in the south. Where you at? Yeah. 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 Get out of here. All right, all right. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. What? Oh, God, 
Yeah, my ball, man, my ball, man. My ball, man, it's all right. It's all right. I'm about to show you. Yeah, yeah, what? What? What you got? What you got? Oh! Ah! 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 Might be the last shot you have of me. We're going on to see the friendly ghosts of Christmas past. Fabulous, your neighborhood weather, man. All in black. Oh, what's your emergency? I'm a ghost, and they got three men chasing me. <laughs> The ghost gonna call the police officer. <coughs> you have a collect call from HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> We're at first location right here, HGTV. Looking for the ghost that everybody claims to see. Where are you, ghost? Come out. What are y'all here for? Because we filming. You f oh, no, that ain't no ghost. That's a real man. <laughs> ain't no ghost there. Hey, they think Fabulous is the Look, the ghost. Oh, I just seen him. Oh, that's Fabian. Oh, that's not the ghost, that's Fabian. That's not the ghost, that's Fabulous, man. Man, they thought you was the ghost, man. Oh, man, yeah, man. Oh, that's not the door, man. The door locked. They thought you was the ghost. People turning around. Oh, I thought you was the ghost. Let's see, look at that. HGTV. Oh! Oh! HGTV. Congratulations. <laughs> My God. <laughs> you three of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Does the whole crew got to take a picture? Yeah, they are. The whole crew. They're all. They're all. Man. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Come on over. Oh, the camera. The camera. Let's get away. Get that picture. Okay, you want to stand here? Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Three, one. Y'all can ask your shop right there. All right. Get on this side, John. We ain't gonna <laughs> you can kiss too. Uh -uh. <laughs> you got Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Boys so of African American, John Bass, I know John and Bass. All right, now. Forget what they talk about. We won the war. We recorded show. That. Okay, really. Thank y'all, Katie Anna. All right. <laughs> <laughs>